What's going down, everybody? It's your boy. That guy, my high tuning back in for another reaction. And this time, we got another one of them Adam Calhoun joints. You dig what I'm saying? Um, this is the second video from Adam basically just addressing the whole situation that he's going through with Tom and Nova and the whole Billboard nonsense and everything else that's going on with that. Um, if y'all didn't see the first one where he stabbed a sword through <laughs> the god dang uh, Billboard plaque, it was intense. You should go watch that reaction. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this one, man. Let's hit that record screen. Let's hit that full screen. And uh, let's hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know if the setting or the quality is so low. Hold up, let's raise that quality back up. You know what I'm saying? Let's put that, let's put that quality back up. And let's do this. Let go. We're going to the end of my driveway. And uh, with these, I'll He's taking all the other billboard plaques he's got. For anyone that sees this video, these are my, all my billboard plaques. Minus he's America. about to shoot them up, up blow them up. Someone picks them up. Guys, I'm a Wow. Man, I work. Dang, well, you know, like, I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little upset, low-key, that he didn't just blow them up. You know what I'm saying? Or use them for target practice or something like that. But I do understand, you know, they were something that did mean something to him at one point. So I'm sure even that first one that he destroyed probably hurt. Um, but then to be able to, you know, just sit it out and, if, you know, fans and people who driving by wanted to take them and hang them up and, uh, you know, appreciate them. I think, that, you know, it's not a bad idea either. I can't I can't be too upset about that right there. I can't be too upset. But let's let, let's let him get into it and, and really explain, you know, how he's feeling now because, honestly – I would be livid. I would be pissed off. I would be upset, especially, you know, from, from Adam's point of view of just not even, you know, ever really having this problem in the first place because he's never done physical copies in the first place. Um, you know, it, it, it kind of probably sucks, you know, from just a different just angle for him because this is something he's never had to even deal with, think about dealing with or anything of the sort until this joint album with Tom. Um, but you know he shouldn't he shouldn't have had to and nor should Tom. So let's just let's let's see what's, what he's talking about right now. Let's my just see. Let's see what he's the talking trades, about. With my hands around men. So me being in this false reality social media world is I don't handle it well. And there's a whole bunch of things that I learned that I didn't even I didn't I didn't know about. Like I didn't know it was a thing going on the internet and like trolling people in comments, which people do or people making memes of my son and me or my family and shit like that. Like that, that used to piss me off to where I wanted, I wanted, I just wanted to fight people. I'm angry now. Yeah. I am about to say now he's probably just like, you know what? I just throw the middle finger up to him and say, fuck him. But, uh, I feel that bro. I feel that I never got to the point that, you know, Adam has or Tom or, you know, I, I've, I've met them and I've got to kind of, you know, see from an outside perspective, some of the things that they deal with. Um, and you know, and I, and from a personal perspective, even from like a small time YouTuber level, you know, like people do have like a weird perception of you of either putting you on this like pedestal that you never asked to be on. And it almost like, you know, makes you feel like you have to be perfect all the time and you can't make a mistake, which is a really weird, like mental mind fuck all, all in its own. Uh, or you just get the complete opposite where like somebody just wants to make it their mission to just try to upset you, try to destroy you, try to piss your, you know, relatives off and the people closest to you off and stuff. Um, and this is a weird place to be on, on the internet, man. And I, I, for me, and the big reason why it was, it's so hard for me to do, you know, stay consistent on IG, um, uh, why I don't really get on Facebook at all. Um, and even Twitter is because those three specifically are just really toxic. And, you know, I don't usually find reasons to post because I just don't want to sometimes. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. But I, I am trying to get better. I am trying to get better. So go follow that guy, my high, all platforms. You know what I'm saying? Let's run up them numbers. But I am not going to sit here and lie and say that it's like my favorite thing to do um, with my day. Is sit there and go read comments, respond to comments or anything of the sort. But a, a big reason for that is because of the pressures. Like I said, it's either I got to be perfect or, you know, I got to be uh you know, so strong that I have to ignore every little thing that someone who's being negative is saying. And it, and it can be a tough thing to do, man. So I just simply choose to not read any of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, let's, let's, let's finish. My bad. I just, you know, I'll be getting real intense with like these conversations. No lives, you know, a lot of people 
on the internet that have bigger followings. They lie a lot. It's not their real life that they're living. Facts. It's just like this Facts. You can fake it till you make it on IG or I any social media for that matter. I can do that. So I'm going to try to explain to you this billboard shit, right? Because I didn't know. Who knows? You guys don't know how it works. I didn't even know how it works. And I'm in the music industry, unfortunately. It's real simple. Me and Tom McDonald did now. It's called The Brave. We put it out. We put both of our social media platforms behind it. Both of our money behind it. No managers, no publicists, no deal. Yeah, fully no independent. Distribution deal, no nothing. Just me and Tom, and that was it. And Nova. obviously Nova, you know, directly. But yeah, and you're in the teams over. that helped, for South sure. Park Y'all's Park. team. We put that album out and it hit eight number ones. Most on, digital sales. On none of the charts that it matters. I don't know. There's a bunch of school look. You in my look opinion. It up. Nova did an article on it. They put us at number four on the independent charts. Number four. Do you know who was in front of us? Encanto, the Disney movie. <laughs> Disney. How are they an independent Right. Artist? I said that in the Tom's in inter- or the Tom's reaction to the second part when he pointed that out. And I was like, Disney? Like how how does that even make sense? Like, that's a hundred billion dollar company right there. They're not. Like, I mean, are they independent? No. Like, you can't call that independent. They own Pixar, fucking Marvel, uh, what else? Uh, Star Wars, fucking everything else, bro. They own everything. How are they even remotely kind of, sort of, even in the playing field of being an independent? No, they should be playing against the big dogs like Warner, Universal, Atlantic, Sony, the big dogs, not not the small independent. Hey man, we doing this, you know, all grassroots with our own money out the pocket. Like, no, come on, man. Like, Tom and Adam to, or, yeah, Tom and Adam together. Even if they put all their resources together, wouldn't have been able to even touch a fraction of the of a Disney budget. Like, that's not even fair. Like, what kind of nonsense is that? Like, Disney could sit there and like, first, we are the first. We are number one. Like. Come on, bro. That, it, that's, it didn't even make sense. The whole list didn't even make sense. When you really go look at that list, it makes no sense because there's so many people on there that are signed, technically. You know what I'm saying? Or affiliated with big brand, big mother companies. And it just doesn't make any sense how they are on a list that was designated to fully independent artists. And then it goes to show why those billboard plaques that he sat out, out by his you know driveway by the mailbox and why... He destroyed one, you know, why all that made sense. You know what I'm saying? Because those awards at the end of the day truly mean jack shit. And that's super crazily fucked up, bro. Because again, for someone like Adam, who's never done a a, a physical copy release, all of it's been digital. All of his has been, all his uh, awards and plaques he got were based off of only his digital sales. So he truly did earn those off of straight digitals. But the the fact that like now he knows that even then like they could have been counted weird or like you know like there could have been people that had more sales than him and, and they just didn't they went through what Tom was going through back in the day and just didn't say anything you know what I'm saying like maybe there was other people who were doing outselling Adam at that time and just couldn't get their numbers you know properly counted bro or represented like it, it's a really crazy mess because this was one of those like list that people would use especially independent artists would use to gauge and and kind of give themselves like an idea of where they kind of sat in the industry as a whole you know what i'm saying so and now that's been broken disney is worth a hundred billion dollars right so it's like they set up this system where you can't even you can't win if you're independent but we we did win we kicked the door down and Believe me, they're watching and they see who, who are these guys on how, what, how did they do this? We're going to make it, independent artists are going to make it so that mainstream artists ain't shit anymore. You don't need deals. If you have a huge social media platform, what do you need a deal for? Facts. If you know how to market it right and your music's good and you have Facts. a following that loves you. You're- look, why? Like that goes to show, Like, why would you even have... Like, if you look at the climate of the industry now, like, the only reason that, like, someone like a 6ix9ine exists or a Bad Bunny or a Bad Bad Barbie or whatever her name is, like, the reason why people like them can exist within the industry and be considered, like, a part of mainstream, you know, hip-hop or, you know, music in, in just any sort of way is because they figured out how to play social media, bro. Like, that's pretty much as 
simple as it gets. They they figured out how to play social media. They figured out how to get a following. And if you are the record label companies, right? If you're Atlantic, Warner, Universal, whoever, if you're the record label company, right? And you have two options. You get you get two choices. You get this guy over here or this guy over here or girl, however you want to look at it. Um, and this one has taken all the time and you know learned how to figure out social media and has a million followers already off tops and the music is trash but they figured out how to you know market themselves and you got this person over here who's got all the talent in the world all the talent super you know drake level talent but has not been discovered by anybody has got a hundred followers you, you which one would you put your money behind like you can you you, you can buy written songs you can buy and do ghost written stuff. And it's probably going to be a whole hell of a lot cheaper to just have somebody write this motherfucking shit on the, the, this side over here than to sit there and have to put so much marketing dollars and, and stuff behind the person that has the talent to just get them discovered. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's less effort to just use the person who's got a million followers already. Hence, why we have 6 9 Just saying. Continue. Sell tons of records, and that's what we did. We sold more digital copies than any independent artist in history. And this is another thing that I didn't know worked. Some rapper four weeks ago, Gunner or some, some shit, he, he put out an album. Gunner. He sold 96 digital copies, but he streamed 90 million streams in like a week. So they count that every 1,500 streams as an album sale, so he sold like 50,000 albums or some shit like that. Me and Tom... Sold like 20,000 digital copies. And then we sold a shit ton of physical copies. Yep, and like Tom always does. That's Tom's MO. Because if they did that, we would have been number two or number one. They don't want us up there. They don't. You think they want us two guys that they can't tell us what to do? They can't tell us what to rap about? They can't tell us shit. So those billboards... You know, put, yeah, and facts. And, that, and that's the big thing about it. But I think the biggest thing and why I'm really salty for both Tom and Adam is the fact that those... those Regardless of as bullshit as they are, those lists, especially like the, the top 200 like independent list, um, like that... Being in the top five could open up doors. Hitting that top five of that 200 list could bring bigger checks and put bigger numbers in your bank account like that like they took opportunity and slammed doors in these gentlemen's faces for no reason you know what i'm saying and yes granted yes they did get the top four or whatever and i said top five but still like to know that you could have been even higher up like again the further down it's like the draft bro it's like the draft if you go in first round you're gonna make more than second third so on and so forth you know what i'm saying and if the higher you go up in first round, the more money you make than the people who went first round and went, you know, towards the bottom. Like, let's just be real how this shit works, bro. All right? Like, they took doors away from them, took doorknobs and was like, nope, slam that shit. Fuck them. You know what I'm saying? And ultimately, that's that's checks, bro. They they, they taking food out these people's pockets, bro, out their mouths, I mean, and taking money out their pockets. Like, this is, that's, that's not right, bro. It's really wrong. And, and this is... It's not just about Adam and Tom. Like I think both of them really are just have the platform and so willing to just stand up for themselves um, that they're just gonna be the ones that start this whole conversation, right? But the reality is, is that probably all ninety nine point nine percent of your independent artists are being treated like trash by these collection companies who aren't properly collecting the data because they don't believe them trash driveway they don't mean shit but I don't, maybe they'll find a better home and mean something to someone else that is something he said that excuse I had you little and, squeaking and it's that chair he said excuse my 150 year old chair about oh my god that's a really bad. good ass made chair yeah. I'm, a, I'm a fighter man I'm, I'm angry at like yo why i want i want to slap these dudes you know what i'm saying but it's like i'm super excited for what we did me and Tom did we couldn't have done that without the help of you guys. We're, in, we're completely independent. So that nice. means everyone who supports us supports what we're doing, right? Nice. So thank you to all of you guys. You guys went crazy hard and, and bought all the digitals you could, bought all the fizzles you could, everything that, that came with the album. You guys backed this album. It was insane. All the love and all the reactions. Hell yeah. Shout out YouTube. to everybody. Shout out to all you guys. 
and push this album so far. We have a video we dropped two weeks ago. It's still trending on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like I'm sitting here. That was a good talk, too. If you guys ever see my reaction to that, go check it out. It's just I'm never satisfied. I'm not satisfied until my boot is on your throat and I'm not yeah. This, I'm, this I'm shit is definitely I'm not over. Ever. I think all of us as fans are, are truly feel the same way. Like, you know, Tom, I think, said it really good where he was like, you know, he took that old cliche saying of like, you know, we may not have won the war, but we, you know, definitely won some battles. And it's like, yeah, you know, that's a, you know, it's that, that half cup open, you know, half cup full situation. But again, like Tom said, like he's not done fighting. He's not done trying to make sure that all independent artists can be represented and, and taken care and compensated fairly. You know what I'm saying? Um and I feel the same way about Adam. Like, I already knew Adam wasn't going to let it go. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Tom, I, you know, Tom, I wasn't 100% sure because, like, you know, Tom, like, I definitely, he knows how to push the limits, but he definitely knows how to, like, back off, too. You know what I'm saying? He knows when to just say, all right, you know what? You know what? I'm not even going to sit here and continue to keep arguing, you know? Um, but Adam... That's my guy. He's easy. He's, he, Adam's a lot like me. Like when swimba, when somebody pisses me off and I take it personal, it all bets are off, bro. All bets are off. Once it's personal, it's time to go. It's go time, baby. It's go time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's the attitude and mentality you have to have. If you want to make it in this industry, you got to be an animal. You have to outwork everyone. And when you're not working on your craft, rapping or, or whatever, you got to be working in the gym. You got to be lifting, running. And I, I don't stop. And neither does Tom. That's the Facts. last thing I'm going to say about Billboard. We did really good. We went further than any other Billboard. Trash. And when I say independent, trash. I'm talking about we don't have any. These independent the artists that say they're independent, they have a branch of a record label that's their distribution. They have power mm-hmm. behind them. They have the industry, a part of the yep. industry behind them. Like, I, like I said, the, o- the only ones that I've listed off that I know for sure like do everything by themselves and have accomplished what Adam and Tom have done. Um, you could Ryan up church, you know what I'm saying? I forgot to actually say him the, the, the last time because that just was slipped my mind, but church, I'm pretty sure, uh, has hit number one, I think two times, three times, a few times. Um, and he's does everything in house. Uh, I'm pretty sure he owns his own distribution does all his own distribution. He does everything himself. I'm pretty sure. Uh, again, Adam and, and Tom now, who have accomplished a lot as independents. And the only other one that I could think of off tops um, is Mon- Montana of 300, because Montana 300 is one of those people who like truly wanted to stay independent as well. Um, and then outside of that would be Boosie. But Boosie's real businessman. So like as much as he does drop shit on his own and he releases through his own, you know, vices and stuff, um, I'm pretty sure he still, you know, does off and on little contracts like distribution deals and stuff like that uh with you know big record labels and stuff but there are a few not a lot only a few <laughs> part of the industry to push you put banners on itunes and put your shit all over the place we didn't have that we had us and you guys that's all we had mm-hmm. completely independent artists. because we as the, the fans we get to dictate you guys, we I, decide I what's hot and what's you guys not know what I'm talking about that's not who i'm saying is not independent there's a lot of these other independent artists that are in the game that say they're independent that are not independent. I don't know if Facts. I explained it well or not. All I know is you did. You did as good as you could. From independent For real. and what the industry is calling independent. We're independent. Two guys, me and Tom McDonald, put our money together, put our social medias together, put everything that we had, and put it out there together with no help from anything from the industry. And I want to say thank you to you guys. It's a victory for me. Shout out to everybody who made this shit happen, bro. The biggest number one the, on the top two hundred. That's the big deal. Yeah. And we and we fell short from that number one goal on the top two hundred on Billboard, but we smashed everything else. They wouldn't count our physical copies. If they would have counted our physical copies, they would have had a severe problem on their hands. They would have had us at number one. Yeah, um, for sure. But that's yeah, not at least happened. one or two. And that's okay. For sure. We, we kicked down the door. And I'm telling you guys right now, anybody who's watching that is an artist. If you hate me or love me or whatever, I don't care. You guys, that's what you need to start doing. You need to start doing joint projects together. Put your socials together. Put your money together. Soon, if everyone keeps doing that, Thanks. joint projects plus solo projects keep pumping out all this material, mainstream, they're going to kick rocks. We're going to take over. 
right now the independent artist is gonna start running shit. I'm telling you guys, we just hey man, you guys. listen, just, mark his words, mark his words, mark his words. I'm a little mad, but I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm happy. I have a good life, and that's because of you guys. And I really appreciate it, man. And that's why I will never sign. I need to get out there and check yeah, out fucking I'm Adam's house, man. I, I I've yet to day, man. check out Adam's house. I need to get out there. I need to get out there, Adam. Hit your boy up, bro. <laughs> I'm going to hit you up, actually. Yeah, yeah, I got your number. I'm going to hit you up. See how you been. Uh, I know you're busy as shit, so you don't always answer right away. But you usually hit me back. Adam's a really good dude as far as, you know, responding back. He definitely tries his best. Um, you can't be too upset. Just like with church busy individuals you know what i'm saying very busy dudes so you know you can catch them when you catch them that's pretty much how that works <laughs> but anyways man yeah shout out to adam shout out to tom nova you know the brave project you know everybody who helps support it and help run the numbers up continue to just keep running it up regardless you know what i'm saying let's just let's 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 make that shit sit on the billboard for some weeks let's continue to run it up so that it even you know has the opportunity to move up some spots like just keep running it up bro Keep running it up. I'm going to say it again. Keep running. Oh, shit. I'm dropping y'all. <laughs> Keep running it up. <laughs> I dropped y'all like crazy. There we go. Uh, let, me, let me get y'all back in. Let me get me back in frame. There we go. All right. We lit. We lit. All right. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> I'll catch y'all the next one. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about that down in the comments below, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.